How do you answer people when they ask you if you believe in God? First thing I would probably say to them is, what do you mean by God? What does that mean to you? What does that word mean to you? Because a lot of people think God means an invisible man, in the, an invisible man or um, the flying spaghetti monster, or an old bearded man in the sky, which is absolutely not what the Judeo-Christian word God means, right? We look at, a lot of times people look at God as like one of the ancient Greek gods where the supreme being, the biggest thing around, whereas God is not a thing, God is not in the universe, God is outside of the universe. So we, we humans exist within the universe, within space, time, and matter. God is outside of space. He's outside of time, right? He's eternal, and he's outside of matter. God is spirit. So when people say, well, science can't prove God, well, science studies the material universe. So in other words, science studies um, the world, the universe, which is within space, time, and matter. If God is outside of space, time, and matter, then science cannot study God. Science is not the proper topic, is, is not the proper uh, mechanism we're studying God because he's outside of their scope of knowledge. Now, that's why you would turn to philosophy or metaphysics. Is it reasonable to believe in God? But you're not going to use science as a tool to measure or determine God when he's outside of the material universe. God is spirit. God is eternal. He's not within the universe, right? So the, the proper term here is God is not supreme being. God is being itself. When you go back to the burning bush and Moses asks, asks God, what is your name? You know, when the Israelites ask me, what, what is your name? What should I tell them? And God says, I am who am. You shall tell them I am sent me. So God is. His essence and his existence are the same thing. So in other words, humans, we have love. We have mercy. We have justice. We have these attributes. God does not have attributes because he is being itself. God is his attributes. So in other words, I have love, God is love. So if God had love and I have love, that means my love plus God's love is more than God's love. Do you see how that doesn't make sense? So that's why you have to look to philosophy and metaphysics because if your philosophy and metaphysics are off, you're gonna get the whole God topic wrong, okay? So our love is a participation in God's love, right? We have, humans have attributes in different degrees. True, uh, truth, goodness, beauty. God is those things. God is beauty itself. God is love itself. God is mercy itself. His mercy plus our mercy isn't greater than his. That's not what it is. We participate in God's love. We participate in God's beauty. And that makes sense. And then even when you look at Christianity itself, what is Christianity? More than following a set of rules and doing certain things, Christianity is a participation in Christ. So our existence all humans, all of the universe, so all of space, time, and matter is a participation in God. Well, it's a similar thing. When we talk about Christianity, it's not a matter of following rules. It doesn't happen outside of Christ. It's not like Jesus is here and then I'm over here. No, me living as a Christian is, is a life participated in Christ's life. So when I suffer, I'm uniting my suffering to Christ's on the cross. Whenever I do anything, I'm all the, any loving acts that I do, I'm uniting my loving acts with Christ's loving acts when he was in this world, right? Because on my own, my works have no merit on their own, right? Everything that we do as Christians has to be done in Christ. Took a little detour there for a moment, but the bottom line is when people ask you about God, ask them what they mean by God. He's not an old bearded man in the sky. He's not an invisible man. He's not the flying spaghetti monster. Remember, a flying spaghetti monster has parts. Spaghetti is material, right? Um, an old bearded man is a person who would exist inside space, time, and matter. God is being itself. He is his essence and his existence are the same. He doesn't have attributes. He is his attributes. And we participate in God's being. That's a good start for you to get you on the right track when we talk about God. We'll see you later. God bless you. God bless your family.